Monday night football Packers at Raiders. We're going to do a fun little same game parlay brought to you by myself, Will from game on and cricket from sportspicks.locals.com. I know you guys are used to seeing us in the morning show. We were going to try to get to this today, but Hey, here we are. We're going to build a same game parlay for tonight. We're going to kind of let you guys see how the sausage is made a little behind the scenes action, right? We haven't talked any of this out yet. This is all just off the cuff. Yeah. Kind of like what we do on the show every morning. Actually, exactly like that. Just so people know, same game parlays are very dumb. They're not profitable. They're just fun. So don't go crazy on it. Yeah. Don't don't put any real serious amount of money on it. It's just fun. A little fun little thing out there. Let's just but don't 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 bank on these winning each and every week or ever winning. Oh right? yeah, or ever. Or ever. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing more than I'm usually on my same game parlay. I'm usually like a quarter unit guy. Something like that, you know. Don't That's get good. Don't get too crazy with them. You can have some fun. There are a lot of fun, man. You sweat them the whole game. You usually have a sweat the entire game, unless you bet under and they can crush you real quick in a hurry. But uh, it's it's fun. It's fun. It's something to get out there and gamble. And these things can cash for a big payout if you get lucky one night. Yeah, but there's some do's and don'ts about these same game parlays. And by the way, when you see me do something stupid, I agree with great quarter unit. Fine, me. You know me. I like to get silly. I like to throw a unit or two on it sometimes because I'm an idiot. So don't do that. Don't. Okay. Just watch me do it and fail. It's it's more fun that way. Do, do as I fun. say, not as I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my dad. <laughs> you can tell I'm getting in dad mode right there. <laughs> but I love it. There's some there's some do's and don'ts with these same game parlays because what you don't realize is one of the reasons why these same game parlays are so terrible is you just you, you're getting screwed out of the vig and you don't even see it especially when you have stuff that's correlated what do i mean by like that let's say you like the over in the game so you throw that in your parlay let's say you go like tonight jordan love over one and a half passing touchdowns parlay that with the over in the game total it's not like a for sure thing but it's semi correlated there right or if you have jordan love over his passing yards and then also you know uh christian watson over his receiving yards You're not going to get fair odds because those are correlated. And even then, the correlated odds that you are supposed to get, you're still getting screwed out and paying a bunch of big for it. So where you really make your money on a lot of these is if you can find things that are anti-correlated but have a chance of hitting, right? So, for example, what I was on last week was, um, and it actually ended up biting me, but I was was on Justin Fields overpassing yards under rushing yards those two things anti-correlated right like yeah. but they're kind of they're kind of in the book's odds uh, in the book's eyes they're like th- th- those things are anti-correlated but technically i mean it kind of makes sense right it kind of yeah you would think if he's getting less yards he would be getting less rushing yards in those spots yeah or you know uh more people also with with justin fields people think that like for example he more likely to go over his rushing prop than his passing prop right yeah, you know what i mean yeah, yeah so, so, so stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to just mess around. We're going to see what we like before we get into and pull it. I'm going to pull it up and we're going to take a look at everything. But I want to just get some feelers out there. I think we should get some feelers. And then I, I don't know about you, Cricket. I like to see what's the narrative behind this game. So like, first of all, where, 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 where's the money at on this game? What are majority of people expecting from this game? And and what's the main narrative out there? For example, if one team, ha- if it was the Bears, we'd be like, their defense sucks. Therefore, whoever's playing should put up a bunch of points, right? And let's see where we can pick those things apart, where, where we agree or disagree with the narrative that's out there. Yeah, I think when you, you talk about which way which, most people are, I think it's kind of a split side. It's more of a 50-50 type game. You got a lot of question marks from both these teams with injuries. You got guys like Aaron Jones. Trying to come back from injury. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be coming back from injury. So they played last week without their starting quarterback. That always going to affect you a little bit. Um, you know, I I think we're on opposite sides in this thing. Uh, you're on the we Packers and, and I'm on the Raiders tonight in this one. But I don't think either one of these defenses are just beastly. I don't think we're going to see a whole, whole, whole lot of sacks. There's going to be some mixed in there. Uh, I like Max Crosby. That dude's always in the backfield. But I don't think I think we're going to see more. I, if I had to lean aside in the total, I'm looking over. I think we're going to see some points in this thing tonight. I really do, I, and that's where we agree. I think the over is the way to go in this game. I actually love the Packers in a teaser here because you can get them up to eight or eight and a half, and then you can also tease it to the over over thirty nine, which would I mean I think we're going to see points. Um, so for me, the narrative on this is I, I think 
one, I think we're going to see scoring. So I like the over, and we're both in agreement there. Two, I think this Packers, we saw last week, the Lions rushed all over this Packers defense. So clearly you can run on this team. Jimmy Garoppolo coming back from coming back from injury, you know, who knows what we're going to get from Jimmy Garoppolo out there. But we do know one thing that, you know, Josh Jacobs was the leading rusher in the NFL last year, and he, he, yeah. can, he can carry the rock. So, I mean, maybe we kind of look towards – uh, the Raiders being able to lean on him and run on this Packers defense. And that stuff might be kind of anti-correlated because you think if the team's going to run the ball a lot, but you, you would imagine that that's time ticking away, so that would not help the over, but certainly still could get to the over in that, that situation. I I, I, mean, I, I think I think we're going to see Devontae Adams have a big game, you know. Maybe kind of. Yes, I don't know if it's that's called, another narrative in this game is revenge. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you'd call it revenge. I was going to say I don't know if we can call it revenge. They didn't really leave on bad terms or anything like that. It's more. It doesn't more matter just, if it is or isn't. It's what are yeah, people he, talking you always, about? What's you always the want to do well about? against your old team. Yeah. You always want to play well. I think he's going to come out to play. But also in that same respect, your old team doesn't want to let you beat them. So they might. Maybe they come out. Maybe you look at. I'm, I'm on Devonte Adams tonight. I got him. I went up and then bet him over 100 plus receiving yards. I think 165 plus 165. But it might be. Maybe you look at a Jacoby Myers. If they're trying to take Devonte out of the game, maybe it provides more opportunities for him to catch the ball in space. That guy's been playing well all year long. If he can stay healthy, so maybe you look at something like that. I think they're going to try to focus more on the run game. But if Green Bay takes that away, I think you could wind up seeing a big night from Jimmy Garoppolo too. Well, I mean. With Adams, I feel like he, what do you think he cares more about? Getting a ton of yards or getting that touchdown? So I feel like if he gets that touchdown, that's, that's, it's like great. It's like, yeah, you, you know, maybe they didn't end on bad terms, but yeah, it's like seeing your ex. When you see your ex out, when you see your ex out, like you run into them, at, you know, out in the, out in public, do you want to be wearing sweatpants, hair messy, looking like, or do you want to be looking good, right? It doesn't really I, matter I, how things ended. You I don't, don't want to be looking bad, you know. You're I mean, telling me that Devontae Adams would have like one catch for 18 yards and a touchdown over like 11 catches for 160 yards and no touchdowns. I'm saying if he hasn't gotten the end zone yet, he's motivated to get oh, the end zone, which means his I receiving is, yards yeah. are going to keep going. They're going to keep feeding him, right? But if he gets in the end zone early, I, I think he's he's more likely to kind of just ease off because he got his tutty. You know, what I mean, he, I he, bet he, him he first did. touchdown score. <laughs> I, I double I double unit bet him first touchdown score. I, I pulled a wheel <laughs> plus 650, I think, or something, 650, something like that. I did. I was like, that would make sense. He would score against them first. And I just too, like sometimes those, those narratives that are just too easy and make too much sense, those are the ones I mean, that cash. I got You know another one I'm on? Hunter Renfro what? first touchdown score. Hmm, you're riding with the Raiders. I got uh, Watson and uh, Love as my first touchdown scores. I sprinkle a little on Watson. I didn't They're 13 uh, to one, man. 13 to one. Yeah, you know, you can do I it. Did. Yeah. I, I threw, threw a little $5 piece on him. I might as well try to get 60 bucks. I got it. I think I got $29 invested in uh first touchdown scores, but I have like all but one. The only one that I can hit that I don't break even is like a dollar short. And then the other ones I hit, I'm going to make like at least double. I need, I'm really wanting that Hunter Renfro one. That's the one I, that's the one I win the biggest on. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll, I'll be semi rooting for you. If I can't win mine, I hope you win yours. <laughs> that's what I'm figuring. Like if I don't hit one of those big ones, I can at least, if I beat one of the other ones, I'll break even and just kind of there wash it. There you go. Okay. So uh, tonight we got sharp action on the Raiders here at minus two, 60% of the bets and 60% of the money. Look at that on the Raiders at minus two. So there's, there's money and people are loving the Raiders at home here against the Packers. So, that's kind of where the money is at in this one. So let's start building this thing. Let's just start taking a look at what what we like. So here we go. Let's go to this. I do this over here on Bet Online. I don't know. I'm mirroring it to. Um, I got another account so that way I can uh, upload it there. I don't want to show my no, actual no. account that I'm betting yeah. it just because you know. I don't think that. anyone would try to screw with it and try to take the ticket number and you know fuck with it. But I, you know, let's just not even give them give them that option. Also, I'll post so you, this after the video, though. I'll post the actual ticket after the video. You know, I've, I've told our viewers on Sportsbook before also, your gambling account is not anybody's business but your own. The amount of money in there, that's your money, your investments, and all those things. And it's fun to brag about your winnings and all that stuff. As far as the, uh, you know, like fine details of your betting account, you don't have to let everybody else know that, man. That's your I'm not even. I'm not even really worried about that. I I'm know you're not. I'm afraid but of people screwing, people screwing with my, like, I, taking that I'm ticket number always, and saying, oh, Mine. I've, seen, I've just seen a lot of these instances before where situations like this cause issues with people. Yeah. People are funny yeah. about money, man. So I think when it, when it comes to things like that, I think you're just safe to most of the time keep that stuff to yourself. 
Okay, so we like the over. Now, do we just want to take the over in the game? Do we want to take a first half over at 21 and a half? Do we think that's a, a I don't think route? I want to mess with the total. In the same game parlay, I don't think I want to mess with the total. You don't want to mess with the total in the same game parlay. Okay. You want to team total over? Football. I know those primetime games have been going under a little bit. The last, uh, Of course, the last two we got over in. Thursday night and Sunday night football went what over. What about so. this, though? Total touchdowns over four and a half? I like that. I do like that's that. another way to attack it huh i do like that i do like that we'll, we'll just throw it in there for now just, just yeah. and we can always take things out right so we got okay we need we need five tutties between the two teams Oof. score 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 yeah. okay okay so, um none of this other stuff let's go to game props so um let's look at this uh those are individuals uh Team to score at, first. I don't really like any of the, these ones that are I like coin like flipping. These options they're giving. Team to score first over under seven minutes elapsed. I love that, man. Do you <laughs> like this? You I, mean, like I, don't, it? I don't need to climb into this, man. I, I'll be in a wormhole. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're I'll doing be, this, man. I'll be stuck can, for hours, man. I was going to say, now people really know that we did not plan this out ahead of time. We're just kind of. I'd have it. 50 different same game parlays with all plus 10,000 odds or better with a dollar on each one. And wind up not hitting a single thing and just be down fifty bucks. <laughs> Defense or special teams touchdown in this one? Hmm? Hmm? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Team to score first wins. Oh my god, that's minus two oh five. Almost want to just take the no out of principle. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we get a Packers score first, score quick. Christian Watson touchdown, and then the I'll Raiders just Ooh. pour it on. You 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 actually want it the other way. I'm see I'm rooting for my bet right here. All these that's the problem. It's the I problem. want Christian Watson to score first. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm fine with that. I'm just saying that the team to score first. I want the Packers to score first, then the Raiders to come back and win. You're on the opposite side of that with me. Okay, well, let's just keep it real simple then. You like Adam, so let's take a look at his. Re- I want to look at yards. Aaron Jones receiving yards. They were pretty low. I think he's long. out. I think he's out. I think oh, I is he out? That. It's highly unlikely he's not going to play. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why they took him off. Yeah, he's probably not on here unless he is. No, I don't see him. So you were saying um, Adams, right? I guess I'm going to go take that off my picks on sports picks. Do not take the over on Aaron Jones receiving yards tonight. <laughs> it wouldn't matter so, if you took it early. They would have gave you your money do we, back. Do we throw Adams uh, over 80 and a half? It's his former I, I like I like him over 100. I got him 100 plus tonight at plus 165. Let's take a but, look at his receptions. I feel like I'd rather attack his receptions because I feel like they're going to feed him. They are going to feed him. I feel like if he gets over six, I feel like if he gets seven receptions, though, he's over that. You're right. Two. You're right. Okay. Cause yeah, you're right. Cause this here, we, like we actually, Watson. actually here is where we would need volume. Whereas he could get over, hell, he could get over his receiving yards at one catch. Right. So, all right. Let's yeah. add Adams over 80 and a half. Oh, it took out my other thing. What was my other thing? Um, oh, over four and a half touchdowns. There we go. So right now we're sitting at plus 172. Devontae Adams over 80 and a half receiving yards. Total touchdowns over four. So something that would be anti-correlated would be like if you parlayed over four and a half touchdowns with the under in the game, right? So yeah. you'd get really yeah, good odds on yeah. that. You'd, and you'd have such a small window there yeah. like you're, you're you're thinking you need it to go perfect it's hard to pick that's what a lot of times i'll pick these things to pick 12 different selections and it's like i'm quoting the game script perfect you're never going to do that it's hard to do that <laughs> i think one of my favorite bets today is jordan love over one and a half passing touchdowns i it correlates with the i, I like, like the them both over one and a half passing touchdowns the only reason i took garoppolo is because i like the plus money i think they're both getting at least two passing touchdowns I just don't know what I'm going to get from Garoppolo when he comes back. I, I fully believe it. But here we are with these three. So if we go Jordan Love over his passing touchdowns, which I guess is semi-correlated with uh, his total touchdown, or the total touchdowns in the game, right? So, But I oh, still yeah. feel like we're getting decent odds on this. So Devontae Adams over, over four and a half touchdowns, and over on Jordan Love passing touchdowns. Plus 355 ain't bad right now. Maybe we no. throw one more in this thing, make it make it spicy, huh? Let's throw uh-huh. one more. We're, we're, probably, we're probably creating two of these, man. Because there's so many more That's options. True. Hey, go to Sax. Right. Let's look at Sax. You want to look at Sax? I just kind of. Oh, yeah. Let's oh look at my Sachs. God. I wanted to do this, but that's just highway that's robbery. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we can't do that. Oh, Dude, what, my if you, God. what if you. Oh, no, we can't do Hunter Renfro anytime. I'm, I'm betting Hunter Renfro anytime. I feel like it's just time for Hunter Renfro to get a touchdown, man. It seems like that type of night. Trying to take Devontae Adams, trying to take, uh, take Jacoby Myers away. 
Christian like Watson. Eight hundred, eight hundred to one, or eight, I mean, eight well, to one. Scares me. He just scored one last week. He still has a question. He's on a I heater, mean, dude. He's a he's player, though. Dude's a player, man. I mean, he's a player. I don't think you can. Dude, go let's wrong. look at Saxo because we're on a bunch of overs. You're right. We're on a bunch of overs, and so Sax might be kind of semi anti correlated to the overs, right? You wouldn't think, but yeah. uh, I feel like Matt Crosby to get a sack at minus one fifty. Just I one sec, man. I got him at uh, what did I get him at? Let's see. Does I does my, Jordan Love get sacked a lot? I I mean, Max Crosby's just a freak in the backfield. He hasn't been sacked a whole whole lot this year. I mean, I think last week when they played the Lions, uh, I think both of them had only been sacked like three times. Now I think he got sacked a couple times last week. Um, Jordan Love, but Max Crosby for over. 0.25 sacks on DraftKings. I'm saying he doesn't even have to get a whole sack. It was minus 120. He can get a half sack. What is that over there? Is that... These are all Green Bay Packers guys, and they're all at plus money. Oh, Garoppolo is getting sacked. He can't run for shit. <laughs> I know. I just don't know any of these guys. That's what I'm saying. Rashawn <laughs> Gary's the only name that, that Preston Smith's a beast. Dude, what if we what if we just do this? We can't we can't bet on people we don't actually know. When I mean, we can, but we're not gonna put them on. Oh my god, I think this is it. I think we have it. I think this is it. Two plus Matt Crosby, two Ooh, plus sacks. Two plus sacks. Come on, man. You tell me you want to throw five bucks on this? I am. I'm going to here in just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I going like to this. here in just a little bit. I think bit. I like this, man. I think I like it. Yeah, I'm into it. I, I dig it. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. This is it. I'm locking this one in. So this will be our first one. So we have, I'm going to mirror it over there. So we got Devontae Adams over eight and a Son of a bitch. Devontae, <laughs> I don't know why it keeps doing that to me. Um, Devontae Adams, it like clears out. I don't know. It's fucking bet online shit. Anyways, Devontae Adams over 80 and a half receiving yards. We have over four and a half total touchdowns in the game. We got Jordan Love over one and a half passing touchdowns. And then we got Max Crosby sacking him twice. Two plus 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 sacks. I like it. Let's go. Let's go. You want to do one more quick one? Yeah, let's do one more quick one, man. All right. What what do you think? Anytime touchdown. Uh, let's do a first touchdown score. Parlay with something fun. Parlay with yeah, something fun. Yeah. Okay. Let's do let's do one that we have like no interest in, like like that we haven't already bet. So like, mm, I don't know. Let's, see let's do something fun. Let's do. All right, let's do Jacoby Myers first, or Jacoby Myers or Romeo Dobbs first touchdown score. Well, I think we we ain't really. I like Jacoby Myers. Yeah, let's I was thinking maybe we get a little weird with some of the defense. I think that's a little too. I think that's a little, little, yeah, a little too weird. A little right, too right risky, right man. Yeah, yeah. That, that was that's a little. But in the game, I think that it's going to go over. I don't really want to. I mean, of course, I guess it, could, it does help it go over the defensive tutty. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh. I think we're going to bet that. We special bet that straight up. I know. <laughs> yeah, we don't I know. Parlay I that with like anything. That. I <laughs> like that. A little something to it. You're like the devil on my shoulder, telling me now. Or also, the angel, for the record, I guess. folks out there, you most of the time you don't want to uh, same game parlay with your first touchdown score right here. It's not going to work no. out more times than not. But. No. All right. So if Jacoby Myers is the first <sighs> touchdown score, let's tie something into that that's anti correlated to that. See if we get some good odds. How about this? What if we go him first touchdown score? Um, but uh, Ooh, Raiders to uh, Raiders to score first but lose. Oh, that would be a good one. That would be a good one. Um, well, let's see if I can do that. Actually, um, game props. Uh, team score first. Uh, no, wait. Where was it? Um, team to score first wins. There team it is. So we would say no. So we would say no. Well, yeah. let me do that. Ooh, that's a good one too. I like that. I'm gonna bet that too. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try one other thing. I want to see. Uh, I might do that. I also want to see receiving yards. No, I need over under receiving yards right here. So Jacoby Myers under. So we'll say he's the first t- touchdown scorer, but he goes under his receiving yards, fifteen to one again. Fifteen. Oh, man. How many times do you see somebody catch one early like that and then just be gone for the rest of the game? That's just what I'm saying. I think hit. I like. One too. I think I like this one too. Oh yeah, I'm doing this one. Yeah, do that one. Do that one. I like that one. There you have it, folks. Those are same game parlay. So we're gonna go. Just to recap: first touchdown score, Jacoby Myers, but he's gonna go under 
his uh, receiving total of 50 and a half. I think it was, yeah, 50 and a half. So that means he is, that's plus 1580. And we got a plus 1501. Devontae Adams over 80 and a half receiving yards. Jordan Love over one and a half passing touchdowns. Uh, Matt Crosby, two plus sacks and over four and a half total touchdowns in the game. Plus 1500. Let's go. Let's go. That's going to be I got sweats everywhere tonight. I got sweats on baseball games and everything else, man. I got home run props. <laughs> How many shirts you got laid out? <laughs> I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just going to check it when the smoke clears in the morning, man. I may just get up in the morning before we do the show and I'll be looking to see what I want. Check the account and see what the number's at. Oh, man. Well, there you have it, folks. Let us know in the comments below if you are going to tell us on this and come over to sportspicks.locals.com to get all our actual picks on the games, not just just these fun long shots, uh, these actual picks, and uh, plus so much more. And we'll see you guys bright and early every morning for the Sports Morning Espresso Shot. Until next time, good luck and good gambling.